What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're here again with Dan. What's up? My husband. So before we get started into the video, I do want to thank our sponsor for today, which is Audible. I'm so excited about this because I've been using Audible for a while now. I love listening to audiobooks and I just think it's so easy when you're like on the go or if you're doing errands or traveling or even like for myself when I'm doing laundry or just my makeup and stuff, listening to something in the background. It's a good way to multitask. Yeah, exactly. And so if you want to try Audible today, I really highly recommend To Kill a Mockingbird which is what I'm listening to right now. If you guys know, it's my favorite. It's actually narrated by Sissy Spacek, which I think is really cool. If you watched my last video about baby names, you know that I get a lot of name inspiration because it is my absolute favorite. If you guys wanna try out Audible for yourselves, which I highly recommend, you can get 30 day free trial with one free audiobook and two free Audible originals. Just go to audible.com slash Alex Chantomo or text Alex Chantomo to 500 500. That is audible.com slash Alex Chantomo or text Alex Chantomo to 500 500 and again a huge thank you this is so exciting and we're just gonna get right into the video I did a video a few weeks ago titled baby names that I love but won't be using and a lot of you really wanted Dan's reactions to those names or wish you had them on camera but they were just names that I had picked for the purpose of that video because we actually do have a boy's name and a girl's name that we have loved and picked for like for years yeah like the past four years so we just never had any other names because we just knew we just always liked these names names and um, we're not saying what they are. <laughs> a lot of you guys wanted Dan to pick names and have me react to them on camera and so I thought that would be a really fun idea because I have no idea what names you like. When we talked about baby names in the past it was always like oh do you like this name? I would think of it and he would say either yes or no and that's kind of how it was. So I think it's actually really interesting now to see names that he picks and I, I wonder if I'm gonna like them or not. What if we actually like one of these names more than the name that we picked. I don't think so. I had a hard time picking this list. Not a hard time, but the fact that we already have a boy name and a girl name that we've both really settled on and love, it's kind of hard for me to look at other options because it's like, why well, look for second best kind well, of thing. What if we had a third kid? But that, that's yeah. what you said and it made sense. And I, I looked through a lot of lists of baby names of things that I liked that, you know, when I read them or mm -hmm. I thought of them in my head, I thought, oh yeah, that's a nice name that I would love to name our kid. So do you want to just start? Yeah. So how many did you pick? I did five girl and five boy. Okay. That's kind of what I did. Some of them have like a small meaning, but like not okay. super, super. Um, Cause again, like I said, since we already picked names, it was hard for me to put like a lot of thought into this. <laughs> okay, so the first one is like kind of super traditional, but I also kind of liked that it was a little bit connected to friends is Emma. Aww. Tell us, I'm not gonna want it. Okay. It's Emma. <gasps> Emma. That is a cute name, but I have a, um, one of my best friends' names. I know Emma. it's hard because you always like think of the people that are yeah. in your life. But yeah, that was kind of the first one. Traditional. Yeah, that is, oh, it's, it is a cute name. It's, Hi Emma, yeah. if you're watching this, I know she watches our videos. I think we love your name. <laughs> it's a very like. Um, it's pretty. Yeah, I'll it's just like, like <gasps> Emma. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think when I hear it. I think of it in Friends, and she's so cute in the show. So yeah. All right, so the next one I picked off a list because I thought it was really nice. Is Amber. Oh, Amber's really pretty. Yeah, I thought it felt very like warm. Like and, Amber. Yeah. <laughs> like ever. I don't know. I just, when I read it, I was like, oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Again, I follow someone on Instagram named Amber, so I just think oh. of her. And that's another reason why we don't want to tell people the name, because in case they're like, oh, I know a so-and-so named that, and I hate that person. Because mm -hmm. that happens a lot. You'd be surprised, people that make their comments. Okay, so the next one, again, picked off a list, and I thought it was really nice and a good name, um, is Mila. Oh, sorry, this is crooked. That is a really, really cute name. I love it. Again, I know someone named Mila. So yeah, we know somebody's daughter whose name is Mila already, so. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, these are just names that I picked yeah, off the list. No, but they're they beautiful. They sounded nice. I really, I actually really like all, all three, three names. Yeah. I don't think I would necessarily choose those for my kid, but I think they're beautiful names. Um, okay. Next one is Madison. Yeah. That one I don't like. I'm so sorry if your name is Madison. It's nothing personal to you, but it just reminds me of, I don't even want to say it because that's like a judgment. I like it too because it can be shortened to Maddie, which yeah, I think is cute. really cute. Um, and then the last girl name that I picked that I thought was nice is Kiara. Oh. 
one is cute. Oh, that was sweet. Oh my gosh, you picked such pretty names. Mine were like weird. Yeah, because like, you like weird names. Well, yeah, I like unique names, definitely. These are not the most unique, but they're not the most common. Ooh. Emma's pretty common, but like Mila, Kiara. Mila's are... the most common girl name right this year. Oh, wow, I didn't know Yeah, that. well, according to the Bump app. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I'm just going based off of my app that I follow. It's the most common. Mila and Lennon are like the most common girl names right now, but beautiful names. I actually really, really liked Kara a lot. I like it. Good. Um, okay, so boy names. This, the first one was for me like a uh, runner up for what we actually picked for me. I know you don't like it as much, um, but it's it's a name from Game of Thrones and it's Rhaegar. Oh yeah, no, I don't like yeah. that. I know you don't like it. For <laughs> me, I really like that name because I think the character in the story is really cool. Yeah. And I think it's a super like unique and kind of like powerful sounding name. It's honestly a really, really cool name. Yeah. I just don't wouldn't want to name our kid that, but I think and so I like, agree the the characters. The way you would spell it, like it's spelt in the book, is R H A E J or G A R Rhaegar. Okay. The next one, for some reason, I never really thought of this as being a name that I would like, but when I was like picturing it on a kid, mm -hmm. I liked it. It's Lucas. Oh, that is cute. I don't know why. I never would have thought that's a name that I would like. Oh, and I then, really like that name. Because then it can be Luke, like shortened. I thought that was pretty cute. And I don't know anyone named Luke. Yeah. Luke Yes. Yeah. That's really that's actually a really cute name. Yeah. I like it. The next one is kind of always a name that I thought was really cool. And there was one kid I knew that had this name. And I just thought it was such a like a I don't know, interesting, fun name for a boy is Hunter. Oh, Hunter's cool. I really like Hunter. I know it's like kind of becoming common, more and yeah. more common. Like a lot of people are picking it, but I remember being a teenager and this one kid that I knew. I actually really like Hunter. I think it's a pretty cool name. Wait, I want that to be our runner up. Like well, no, second? okay. Because I love the name Wilder and you didn't really love that as much, but Hunter and Wilder is kind of like, similar. you know what I yeah. mean, it's in that ballpark. Well, the two syllable ending with the ER, like they're similar. Yeah, and like when you're wild and when you hunt, I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> I, I think really that's like, why Hunter. I really like that name. Hunter sounds cool. It sounds like a boy that would be like in Boy Scouts, like in the forest. Wait, what know? if we have a second son? I like that name. I like it too. That's really cool. Do you know anyone named Hunter? I'm actually curious. Next one, not really any special connection, unless you're like a big Pokemon fan. But it's oh good. I picked Ash. No, 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 no. You don't like that one, no? No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought it's pretty cool. I mean, okay. Pokemon I mean, you aside. Liked, you liked Cash. Oh yeah, that was a name I actually liked, Cash. So it's like kind of the same thing. I know. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Pokemon aside, Ash is actually kind of a cool name. Yeah, if you don't think but of like, Pokemon. But like, because you brought up Pokemon right you before you know, said it, yeah. I just thought of Pokemon and yeah. I'm just, it's like saying Pikachu or Squirtle. Like I'm just yeah. not. That aside, Ash is actually pretty cool. It's not a bad name. No, it's not bad, but like. <laughs> I can't know. You shouldn't have said the Pokemon thing. I know, but it's because I know a lot of people would probably right away think like Ash Pokemon. Yeah. But, well, it's like, okay, know. for example, our dog Boo, I named him after Boo Radley from To Kill a Mockingbird, but a lot of people associate him um, as Boo from, is it Mario? Well, there's Boo the ghost from Mario. Some yeah. people think that, but actually more people think it's Boo Monsters from Inc. Monsters Inc. Yeah. Yeah. I guess most people would think of Pokemon, but I never watched Pokemon as a kid, but I know that if you wouldn't have said, you wouldn't have thought I of wouldn't it. have. Yeah. I have thought of it. And then the last one was kind of weird, but for some reason it kept like sticking in my head because I guess it's because it's really unique. So I don't even know how to pronounce it properly. How I would pronounce it is- How do you spell it? It's D-A-E-L-E-N, like Dalen. Oh, I so like, it's, like that. So it's like kind of like Dylan, but instead of Dylan, it's like Dalen. Is that a Gaelic name? Yeah. That's very similar to Maeve, which was on my list. Yeah, so I think the description I read of it was it's like after some legendary blacksmith who had like powers or something. I don't know. That's actually a really cool name. I, for some reason, it kept sticking in my head. Oh my god, I liked all of your names. No, you, was... you didn't like Madison. Well, it's not that I don't like Madison. You didn't like Ash. <laughs> okay, no. I like all the names. I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily choose them for a kid. Mm -hmm. Madison was my least favorite, but I still think it's a pretty name because, like you said, Maddie. Ash reminds me of Pokemon. But. Like I Hunter, really like Hunter I really like for a boy. Yeah. And I, I don't know, Emma, Amber. Yeah. I don't know, they're names that I kind of I like. Yeah, those are really good names, Dan. I was totally thinking he was going to think of all these like elvish names from oh, Lord of the Rings no. or like Frodo or like Gandalf. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> or something from comic books, you know, yeah. like this is a my son the Hulk. <laughs> um, I would never do something like that. <laughs> Like something weird. But yeah, I actually really, really like those names. Oh, I was good. very surprised. That's kind of like, I kind of want to bleep that out. <laughs> and Hunter. The only thing I don't like about Dalen is like there's there's no way, it's kind of like a long sounding name and you can't shorten it. Day. Like Day or Len. Len, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
I don't know. Well, I mean, you're Daniel, I guess Dan. Yeah. Guys, if we have a second son. It's possible we never have a girl. Yeah, because I always just thought, oh, we'd have a boy and a girl, but like it's very possible we have Super two boys. Because we want two kids, like that's just what we've always wanted. But if we have a second boy, I really like Hunter and I really like Dalen a lot. Yeah. I don't know, maybe you guys have really cool name recommendations. I know in my last video, I had a lot of you guys send your list that you really liked. I had names that I thought of before I was even dating anyone and I just liked names. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna leave those in the comments, if you're comfortable with posting them somewhere, I'd love to check them out, it'd be fun. And if you guys have any other suggestions for videos that you would want us to do together, I also think it's fun to do like baby related videos with the two of us mm -hmm. because I just think it's fun that way. But yeah, let me know what you think of the names down below. I'm sorry if I insulted anyone's name. Like, yeah, I need sorry. to do that. Um, I got a lot of people <laughs> in the last video just not liking some of the names that I put out there, oh, which fine. is totally fine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, of course, but that is a part. It's part of why we're keeping it a secret. Yes, because we don't want anyone's opinion before the baby's here because we don't want to feel like, oh, maybe we should change the name because we love it so much. And again, thank you so much for Audible for sponsoring today's video. High five. I like your name choices a Thanks. lot. And uh, we'll see you guys all in our next video. Bye. Bye.